Caesars. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this. Beach, beach. Is going to start selling their Detroit style deep dish in a ya- in yards. <laughs> like the old school. What was that Pizza Hut they used to have? Like the. Did or, they do that? Or like the long. Oh, yeah. Thing or whatever the hell it was. You can buy a full yard, which is three feet, of the three meat treat, which. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even get it out. I could not even get it out. Could not even get it out. <laughs> it's eight slices of the three meat treat and eight slices of pepperoni. <laughs> See, it's funny because I usually ask if they want some of my crazy sauce. Woo! All right. Oh. For now, they're only available in Virginia and North Carolina where they're trying it, but it will be expandable, expanded if it kicks off. $20. Per yard, what? What? And then when it comes to the stuffed crust, mm-hmm. she likes it when I spin it around and <laughs> eat a crust for me. Get that gooey cheese all over. All right, we'll come back. Over. From downtown. <laughs> Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Who's in here? Let me see who's in here. Let me see what it is. Spy Guy, Sugar Sweet. Tom is here. Mama Nerd, Molly. Jeff, thank you for that renewed sub. Meg's Blue, Nicole. Get Behead is here. Space Babe, Florida Boy. Anybody I missed? Susan, Dan, Micah, Fort Hollow. If I missed you, so sorry. How are you? Hello, show sister. Your dinner looked incredible. Wherever you went um, to dinner in Terrytown. What'd you get there? A little lasagna? Was that a lasagna with a side uh, a side noodle? What was that? Was that an eggplant parm? Look good. Look good. Meg's blue. Winnie the Pooh in it, or as I learned the other day, also known as Porky Pig in it. Okay? Both acceptable. Chicken parm, good choice. Looked really goddamn good. Chicken parm, a little side, a little side scatty. Good call. Good choice. It looked delicious. I hope it was delicious. Um, Yeah, so you probably could tell I was stuffy this morning. I'm still stuffy now, and I'm very pissed off about it. Okay? I'm very pissed off. The Galaxy Communications is like a Petri dish... This is not COVID. This is just a stupid cold. Because everybody's got to come to work when they got the sniffles and the sneezes and the uh, whatever. So, God damn, I knew it. I finally got something. So, I got it. I'm knocking on wood here. I've been slamming the vitamin C or whatever, but Jesus. I'm trying to hold it to this. If I can hold it to this, I'll be happy. Or at least get to the weekend. I'll be happy. Just just a little stuffy stuff. Nothing big. It's just the office. Everybody's always coughing and sneezing, and I can hear it out there. I'm like, oh, my God. Why do you bring that to work? Go sit in your car. Go to your car. Spy Guy saw Wonka. It was phenomenal. It is phenomenal, and I'd like to see it again. I'd like to see it again. I can see it on my cracked site, but it's like a videotaped version of it, and I don't, the experience wasn't enjoyable. So I'll wait. I'm on day four of the ick with the nerdlings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, get get well, mama nerd. I'll be good. We'll chase it out with some whiskey tonight. How's that sound? Get a little grandpa's medicine in there. Chase this out with a little whiskey. Chase it out. Chase it out. Push it up. Push it in. Yeah. All right. Now, thank you. 11 months sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, Nebreka, that doc was crazy. And I did take some zinc tonight, sister. Um, Remember that? If I took it in the morning, it made me throw up So <laughs> on the side of the road. So I stopped taking it in the morning, but I did take it with some food earlier today. So I'll do that again tomorrow. 
to shake this out of me. Um, and I got some emergency, but I think that's all this. It's that's just vitamin C and zinc, right? So if I'm already taking that combo tonight, we drink week one of four weeks of Irish whiskey. Now, Cody's I this was Cody's idea. God love him for it because this fills up a month of content for me. You know, my favorite whiskey is Irish whiskey. I don't know what it is. I think if you do look at my lineage, I got a little dash of Irish in me, mostly Italian with a dash of English, French, and Irish, so I'm told. But I've never done one of those genealogy things because I don't want to find new siblings. But that's what I'm told. I know my last name is French, means big wind. And I know my Italian heritage because they raised me. So, um, yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to gack up on it, sister. I'm going to take a bunch of it tonight. How did you make out the cameras? Dan, I think we're good. God bless Chief Engineer. He got it working today. And I think we're back and better than ever. So we should be good. So tonight we are drinking week one of the four weeks of Irish whiskey. Flaming Pig. Flaming Pig. I went over. I'll give him a shout. I hope our sales department can maybe get him on the air or something. But Maximum Wine and Liquors in Cicero, since I have no sponsor right now, um, I will tell you, they are the spot if you want some Irish whiskeys. They had a whole ton. I didn't even buy... I didn't buy half of the Irish whiskeys that they had over there. I was shocked. So, and they had uh, everything you're going to see over these next four weeks are whiskeys I've never had. And they had a Jameson. I almost did it and I would have regretted it, but they had a Jameson like 24 year. And I was like, if it's my favorite whiskey. And it's like a 24-year version of that, but I talked myself out of it. Because it would have been a stupid amount of money to spend on something that would get me as drunk as everything else does. So, Flaming Pig. I'm going to tell you the story because it's very cool. Um, and then this pig's going to chase this sniffle right out of my body. In 1875, in Dublin's Great Whiskey Fire, 5,000 barrels of whiskey stored in Malone's Bonded Warehouse suddenly ignited history relates that it was the lone squeal of a flaming pig that raised the alarm saving the city and the whiskey so here we are what is that 1875 so 150 years ago the great whiskey fire and they knew it was a fire because they heard a pig on fire squealing alerted the town they went and saved the barrels and there you got Flaming Pig Whiskey. We celebrate you. Um, please ask, yeah, ask if Weekday Whiskey. Weekday Whiskey is at the bottom of the barrel, guys. Only got a few bottles left. New phone, not who this. Coco's on his new phone tonight. Um, you know how it compares with you because I love strong whiskey flavor, but like, thank you. I love you all for saying you like Weekday. Go buy the rest of my Weekday Whiskey. Thank you. Okay. Uh, um... Sorry, my leg, my leg itches. Let's try it. I wonder if they added a little smoke to it, although my taste is off tonight. Amanda, I saw they're reuniting. There is a little smoke to it. Oh. Katie, that's a full Irish blessing. Thank you for that. And then how do I say that word at the end? I ask every St. Patrick's time because I see that a lot. It's really good. I wish I could taste all of it because I can tell there's some smoke in there. And I can, I can, I can smell and taste. I'm not, it's not what I said, but I wish I could taste it all the way. I'll save some of that for in a few days when I'm feeling better. Slon Chi. All right. Slon Chi. Am I saying it right? Slon Chi. Because I got a feeling that's a real good cha. Okay. Slon Cha. Slon Cha. Record yourself saying it, Katie, and then send it to me, please. So I got a couple things to get to. Um, as I, I realized, so I get a lot of our non-sponsors just from my stupid, um, 
like internet Reddit threads that I follow. And somebody posted yesterday, hey, this song is 20 years old today. And they po- it was the release date of the song I'm going to play you. And it was 2004, which was the moment I realized that I, this year, will have graduated college 20 years ago. 2004. Like, I knew it, but I hadn't really digested it, I don't think. That 2004 is 20 years ago. (laughs) And I was graduating... Oswego State University, the diploma that hangs right there, 20 years ago. I am old, and I'm. You know what? I'm not. I'm not upset about it at this point. Now I'm playing. Now I'm playing with house money, right? You got to figure. 42. That's. In these medieval days, that's old. I should have been killed by a knight by now, or died of some kind of plague or something, right? So we're good. Anyways, they posted this clip. Said this is 20 years old. It's an edit. So it jumps a little bit just to make it about a minute and 12 seconds. But I hope it makes you feel just as old as it made me feel. Happy 20 years to this. Hey, listen up, everybody. Got a little special thing I'd like to do tonight. I'll play a little song for you about the nastiest, freakiest little sex puppet I know. Fiona. This one's for you, baby. Happy anniversary. Scotty. Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. She tells him she's in church, but she doesn't go. Still, she's on her knees, and Scotty doesn't know. Oh, Scotty doesn't know. So don't tell Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Twenty years, twenty years ago, that movie came out. Yesterday was the day, February twentieth, two thousand twenty-four. Euro trip, or no, it, it was Euro trip, right? See, that's the thing. It was two thousand four, so it was. I was not really going to the movies then, but I remember it being a big hit, especially because of that song, which is actually a pretty dope pop punk song, in my opinion. It's a pretty damn good song. All right. So go ahead and celebrate that. Not our non-sponsor tonight, because I've got two non-sponsors tonight. Thank you, Jimmy from the Valley. Josh, I don't know about what Fiona are up to. Don't tell Scotty. So my I got a funny non-sponsor, and I've got a thing that I'm going to have to just take Cody to the mall one day and see what's on this. So this area where I'm broadcasting from is my home office right below where the camera is, is my desk. All of my drawers are in there. The drawers are feeling crowded. I got very upset about it. Um, I couldn't find anything. So I spent like over a couple days cleaning out all of the drawers in this desk. And now it is clean and organized. And I found in just this desk, guys, This many Dave and Buster's cards that I don't know how many points are going to be on all of these cards. These were just in this desk. My kids, me, maybe work stuff. I don't know (laughs) why I had this many Dave and Buster's cards in my desk, but here they are. There could be a PS5 sitting right here. I mean, oh, I can do it on the app, Amanda? I don't got to go to the mall? Yo. I I mean, look out. I'm getting a stuffed basketball, guys. 
I'm getting a stuffed basketball. So this is tonight's real sponsor because these are actual money that I don't know how much exists on here. Because my kids are infamous. I don't know if your kids are like this. They're infamous that if they're not 100% in love with something at the ticket area, they'll just save their tickets. So you got to really convince them to, to invest. They'll walk in and be like, well... I'll just save up for next time. And then next time we forget to bring the previous card, get a new card. And that's why we have a stack. All right. So tonight's real sponsor is the Dave, Dave and Buster's Destiny USA. <laughs> We're going to cash those bitches in. Getting out. I'm going out of there with an electric bike. You know, other kid buys whatever. A mom max it out. Yeah. One kid is like, I'm going to save. I want to real. I want to plan. Is there a way I can earn interest on these Dave and Buster's points? Because I'd like to really have, I, I want to, I want to watch my Dave and Buster's points work for me. I want to make my points work for me, mom. Well, the other one's like, max it out. Yeah, Cody, I'm going to get you one of those switchblade combs, dude. <laughs> Tonight's real non-sponsor. Is a product that I ask um, any of you if you ever owned. Why do I have an email? Who's emailing me? There was a what? Hmm, I'll look into that. All right. Tonight's a real non-sponsor. Yeah, and um, they were an uh, an i not an icon, but they were a staple in every. Mom's bathroom throughout the 90s, mid, late 90s, maybe all the 90s. They were a staple in every mom bathroom, but never used. I didn't know what they really did. And that is tonight we celebrate the bath beads, the oil bath beads. You could normally just display in the bathroom, but never did anything. No one ever used them. And my question, ladies. What was the what was the point? Like if you took a bath with this, did it cover you in oil? Did you just use one? Did you use several? Did you make your own scents? They made the tub slippery. <laughs> <clears throat> so you would it was just a fancy soap? It was like a soap oil. It was supposed to be luxurious, like you're at a spa or something? Okay. You know, Nebraska, I think we both had the same grandma because my grandma must have been an Avon lady or was supporting an Avon lady because we had so much Avon in our world. So, all right. Forbidden Graves. <laughs> Jeff. Dude, I want to eat these so bad, bro. I'm with you, Jeff. God, I want to eat these so bad. So they were on display. Mostly, uh, I'd never seen them used. I'd never used them myself. But... Several of you have experiences. Just seemed like it gave UTIs and <laughs> and made the tub slippery. So, all right, good. We're up to date on the bath beads. I believe that barking you hear is my son getting home from the basketball game. Let me check. Don't tell Scott A. Scott A doesn't know. Yes, it is. Scott A doesn't know. Oh. So what's in your world? What do you guys want to talk about here? We've covered Scotty. We've covered bath beads. Tonight we're drinking Flaming Pig. To celebrate the pig that alerted the townspeople to the fire at the whiskey storage. <clears throat> Trying to kick the stuffiness out of me. Trying not to get my cocoa stuffy. Just trying to kind of party, guys. You know how that goes. <clears throat> Anxiety, uh, I saw, Tom sent me a thing as a suggestion for this week's non-sponsor, and I had never seen that in my life, and it really grossed, really grossed me out. There were Hormel stuffed chili dogs on the market for a little bit, where they were hot dogs stuffed full of chili, obviously, and then like the it was like a Halloween thing. I had never heard of them. They made me very, 1986, they made me very uncomfortable. What up, Q Sports Talk? Do I have any mace? No mace. Do I have the mace spray or mace the wrapper? We can accommodate both at a later date, I believe. 
Yeah, I had never seen them, man. Google Google that. I, I don't have a photo. Hormel chili-filled hot dogs. Terrible idea. Because I wasn't even really a big fan of... Um, I love Hoffman's. But I was not a fan of their Hoffman's with the cheddar in it. Some people were. I don't know if you guys were, but I was not a fan of that. When I'm biting into a dog, when I'm biting into a thick wiener, I like to know what I'm going to get. Okay? And chili and cheese ain't either of those things. You know? Uh, both make your eyes and ears burn, and that is mace. What other questions do you guys have <clears throat> as we're hanging tonight? Hormel Frank and stuff. Yeah. I ate my leftover lasagna. I forgot Cody's. You made me a cheesesteak thing. I forgot again today. I just got to eat that at work tomorrow, I think. Creamy center of that. Mm -mm -mm. Frank's Red Hot SpaghettiOs. Did you see that? I did, Mel. I saw that Utica finally has a recreational dispensary open this week. Congratulations to our friends in the Utica market who can get some recreational cannabis. Um, I don't know that guy who opened it, and I wish him the best. I'd never met him before. I'd love to. I'd love if he'd work with us because that's great. Everybody should be able to buy cannabis. It's very exciting. Are you guys going to be at CNY Brewfest in March? I'm sure we will. We haven't been told yet, but I always put those things in my calendar because it's always an assumed, but yes. <clears throat> I will and listen, Deb, I'm doing my best to not give the sniffles to Coco, but honestly, Cody at work spends more time with coworkers than even I do, so he would have had it. He would have had this more than me. People visit with Cody. They avoid me. I'm a curmudgeon. He hold, Cody holds court. He's got two or three people in there. And God love him. Pe people love Cody. Me, not so much. And honestly, I'm fine with it. God, this flaming pig. I can't wait to taste you. Oh, Sandy, I want to, like, taste you. Get you, get your lips wet because it's time to have pep on your mark. Get set. Go, let me go. Let me shoot to the next man in the three-piece suit. I spend all my dough. Ray me, cutie. Shoop, shooby dooby. Like Scooby Dooby Doo. I love you in your big jeans. You gave me nice dreams. and make me want to scream. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love what you do. When you do. What you do. You make me want to shoop. Mmm. So good. So good, Flamin' Pig. You're a good hang for a Whiskey Wednesday. You're a good hang for a Whiskey Wednesday. Cody, what game are you playing tonight? What are you guys playing tonight? I've heard, I'm feeling great, Mel. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling real great. Oh, I hit the shit out of it, Spy Guy. Yes, absolutely. Can you melt butter and pour it into whiskey? Great question by... Crack, crack, cod, yamek. Crack, cod, yamek asking in chat, can you melt butter and pour it into whiskey? I never have. I would imagine you got to drink it pretty quick so it wouldn't congeal on the top. Got to get that shot back real quick. But I bet you could. I bet it would do like an oil water separation thing over time. So if it's a quick little mix... Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Isn't there like a butterscotch drink that does that or a butterscotch shot in there? Hope that answers your question. Crack cod. Is that cro croc cod or crack cod yamek? Crack cod yamek. Hopes, I hope that answers your question for you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, oh, Tom, I bought my wife that game for Christmas. She took my, uh, she took my son's switch cause he never played it. And, uh, she really wanted that Mario game and she, she plays it almost every day. She loves it. It looks dope as hell. I haven't tried it, but it looks pretty cool. It looked really, really cool. All right. Get me the other questions. You guys, I'm, we had a big crowd tonight. Thank you for hanging out tomorrow night. Cocoa puffs. So, you know, the morning shows we're running every day. Shout out, Chief Engineer, fixed our streaming machine, so we should have, knock on wood, no issues um, remaining. 
Then you get Cocoa Puffs tomorrow night. Then you got Lunch Buds with Resonators and Jaunty on Friday at noon. And then, you know, the uh, regular morning show shit. And then I hope in all everything goes right, I hope to do a little house party this weekend. Meant to do one last weekend. Got severely depressed on a Saturday. And just laid around. So, we've shaken that. And I hope to do one this weekend. So, all right. Cocoa Puffs, same time, same bat time, same bat channel. Right here. 8 o'clock. Right here on Twitch. Okay? Everybody good? Love you all. Go drink your drinks. Smoke your smokes. Love. Wanna. What was that? <laughs> Come on, people now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Try to love one another.